Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today is another discount fragrance haul. I picked up all of these at Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls uh, for pretty cheap. I think the most expensive perfume I have in here is was $19.99. Most of them were $9.99 because there's a lot of Disney. Once again, I picked up quite a few. And then the other ones are all celebrities. So let's start with those. I picked up this one because I loved Fancy so much by Jessica Simpson. So when I saw Fancy Love for $16.99, I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. We're going to see how it compares, see what it's like. And I should say, welcome, my name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here. I do Fragrance Fridays. I also do all different types of beauty related videos. So if that is something you are interested in, please do consider subscribing. It would mean so very much to me. So this is what the perfume looks like. And I think I just got, what size? A 1.7. So this is half the size of my original Fancy. And we'll give it a spray. Okay, this is kind of nice. It's very light. I don't really get any certain notes like that stick out. It's not a sweet gourmand like um, the original Fancy. It's more maybe slightly fruity, but it's just it doesn't really have anything that stands out to me. But I think for $16.99, that's not too bad. I also did get a body lotion with it. Not that I need any more body lotions, but you know, eventually it will get used as well. The next one I got is my second Ariana Grande fragrance because this one just sounded kind of nice and it's sweet like candy and I really hope it smells like candy. That was kind of my my hope with this one. This one was $19.99 so this was more expensive than the other ones and this is just the one ounce size which is what I have in the original, her first fragrance, Ari. I have that one. I think that was her first fragrance. That's the one I have. I also have that one in a one ounce. These little puffs, like they're cute, but they always want to get in the way of the sprayer, I feel. Okay, this one is very sweet. It's like a berry. It, I smell berries and um, actually on the back here, she's eating what looks like a strawberry. So I think this is like a very sweet berry type scent. Of course, I haven't worn any of these, so I don't know how they will perform on the skin what their lasting power is, but this one is nice. If you like light, fruity, um, fresh kind of type scents, this would be that. This is a nice, sweet one. Okay, the next two are both by Rihanna, and I've left them in the plastic so that I could remember what the prices were. So I did get Nude by Rihanna and Rebel Floor by Rihanna. This one was $9.99. It's just the one ounce. This is Rebel Floor. That's what it looks like. I did pick these up because I've heard really good things about the Rihanna fragrances and I hadn't tried any of them and I had kind of looked at them on Mercari but decided that with shipping and stuff, I didn't really want to pay what they were asking even though they were pretty cheap. So when I found this one for $9, I was like, okay, we're gonna try it. If I remember right, this one's supposed to have a plum in it. If, But that's if I remember right. Oh, <coughs> that is really overpowering. Um, like I sprayed it on the box, but I like it sprayed so powerfully that I could taste it and it's kind of like I inhaled some of it. Ooh, it smells very kind of cologne -y to me. It's, it, it's more masculine leaning than what I normally gravitate towards. And I'm not sure what notes that, what notes those are that lean that way. It's kind of mellowing out now, um, but at first it was like really strong. I'm gonna have to wear this one. I'm not really, I'm reserving judgment. I don't love this one. So far of all the ones I've smelled, this is my least favorite, but we'll see. Like, there could be another really good one. Then we have Nude, and this one, actually my friend Casually Fragrant, she recommended that this would be the one that I would probably like the most. And her video, she did a video, oh, it's been over a year. So I will try to remember to link that down below. I'm terrible about remembering to do that, but I'm gonna try. This one was $14.99 and this is the 1.7 ounce. So it is a larger size. Let's give this one a spritz. Trying not to breathe it in this time. Oh yeah, this one is much creamier. This one, this one's nice. 
I feel like this one, it's still kind of a fruity, but not like an overwhelming fruity. It's kind of, it's more subtle, but it smells creamy, but it smells more like milk kind of creamy than like a sweet creamy. So it doesn't really smell like vanilla or like whipped cream or anything because vanilla is always put, usually put in whipped cream, but it, it does smell nice. This one, I can't wait to wear. This actually, I'm trying to do set of the day post on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, Go follow me on Instagram, see my scent of the days. That one probably is going to be up pretty darn soon. The rest of these are all Disney fragrances. So I have these two, and I, these are from Petite Beaut Beauté, and I got the Frozen 2, Anna and Elsa. I'm gonna spray them in just a second, but I wanted to show you in case you wanna stick around or not. And then from the original Frozen, there are these two. Um, so we have Elsa and Anna, and then I also got the Belle. These are all supposed to be EDTs, and these ones are pretty big. They're um, 3.4 ounces, so nice and big perfume sizes. This is what the Belle looks like. I have some others of these I have talked about in the past. I have like a Cinderella one, and I have Rapunzel, and Ariel, and... Snow White, and I think Ariel is my favorite of all the ones that I've smelled. They're more marketed towards children, so they're cute, but I just, I kind of like the castles and I have different heights and stuff. So really, these are just kind of displayed uh, on my bookcase. It's, they're not really worn all that much. I think I've got a nose blind. I don't smell anything from that. Right now I'm selling like a very slight hint of alcohol and that's about it. We're gonna revisit Belle in a minute. We're gonna see, maybe I got a dud, but I, I'm not picking up like really anything at all from that one. Oh my gosh, I haven't even opened these. So wow, this is what this one looks like. Um, a little different looking. I think it's supposed to look more like Arendelle. Um, so. That was, I was expecting them to look just like the princess ones. So I was expecting the tops to look similar, but they look very different. That's for sure. Okay. This one is kind of icy. This is a little bit fresher. I'm still getting a strong alcohol kind of vibe at first, which I know that will like not be there for the whole time you wear it. But this one is definitely more fresh and it just smells clean. Like this smells like kind of like a soap. If you remember just the plain bubble baths that we had as kids, that's kind of what this smells like. It doesn't smell like super fruity or sugary. It's just like a nice clean scent, which is kind of what I expect for Elsa to be honest. All right, let's do Anna from this one and then we'll see what the other ones look and smell like. I think I like the line that I talked about last time, which was two weeks ago. You'll be, you should be able to find that. So this is what the Anna one looks like. Um, no, no comments please on the shape of the bottles. They look a little weird, I know. Okay, this one's slightly sweeter. I'm still getting a lot of alcohol in it. That this one smells kind of clean and soapy as well. Not as like stark clean as this one. This one has just a little bit hint of sweetness to it, but uh, I probably would choose the Elsa over the Anna. I'm still not getting anything from Belle. That's just very, very odd to me. I don't, I don't know what's going on. All right, then let's look at these. I don't know if these are supposed to be different scents. I would assume so, since this is supposed to be Frozen 2 and they're marketing it as Frozen 2 instead of Frozen 1. This is what the bottle looks like, so more your traditional. I like the lid, actually. It's kind of curved and just different shaped. I think this might be the same scent. Hmm. Let's go and smell the Elsa one. So, and I do love the packaging. I like, I think they just, they're cute. I love Disney. These, if nothing else, will just look cute on my Disney shelf with some of my other Disney collectibles because I do have a fairly large Disney collection. 
and you've seen me talk about my makeup hauls and the Disney stuff that's going into be displayed. This one smells slightly different than the original Frozen. I'm not really getting much out of the Anna. I don't know if it smells exactly the same. I'm gonna to try to remember to look these up and if I can find them, put notes down because you can't always find notes on these. That's one thing that I have discovered. And so if I find any notes, I will put them down below. Anyway, let me know if you've tried any of these, what your thoughts are on the celebrity ones as well. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.